is, uh, it makes me very happy to have this opportunity to introduce the next speaker. Graduates, you have made a wise and wonderful choice for valedictorian. Yes, he is very intelligent and very talented. Many of us have enjoyed his uh, unforgettable performances at Coffee House, uh, as Dracula on main stage, uh, in Dolphin Dramas, and in one else. But these are not the very best things about him. We appreciate him because of his generosity of spirit, his courage to take risks, and his willingness to share. He gladly shares his talents, ideas, energy, and innermost thoughts. He is not afraid to wear his emotions on his sleeve. We trust him, and therefore, we learn very quickly when we are around him. He is confident, yet humble. He is disciplined, yet funny and fun-loving. He is forthright, yet kind. He is quick to admit his mistakes, and he is quick to apologize and to forgive. He is rich in a way that matters most. He is rich in friendship, because he is a very kind friend. He is precisely the kind of leader the world craves. Ladies and gentlemen, the man is real. Your president is about the truly beautiful Warren Buffett. Now, the human being is an innately social creature. 
if I didn't have my classmates to crack jokes to, I would most likely have to sit, whisper them to myself, and would thus qualify as a crazy person. <laughs> Think about the sheer amount of time we've spent today. Say, uh, six hours a day, five days a week, nine months every year for four years. You know how much time that is? A lot of it. <laughs> we have to learn together, laugh together, cheer together, dance together, freestyle together. We have waited in the hallway together. We've been afraid that the other person was going to say hi, so we nervously avoided eye contact. We play sports together, play music together, play parts together. We've eaten bagels together, eaten veggie bagels together. Ladies. We have studied last minute together. We've borrowed landers to enter the library together. <laughs> We've been happy together, been upset together, fighting together, hung out together. To a certain extent, we've lived together. Take a look around. People beside you, behind you, in front of you. This is the last day our grade, our entire grade will be in the same room. At least until our tenure reunion <laughs> in space. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Our parents, our teachers, and our classmates have all been very strong influences in our lives and will continue to be there. Hold that thought. There. There. How is there for you? Can any of these forces really be? <laughs> Do you know what you're jumping into? The water. <laughs> it isn't like any swimming pool you popped into before. This is the water. Now, we've all heard certain tales and rumors about the water. But most of these things are ideas we'd rather stash away in our minds in place, in a corner that kids like us aren't interested in touching. Now, uh, the water, from what those older than me have shared, goes something like this. I love college because university is hurting me. Water. Should have learned to focus before I got here. Water. If reading 200 pages for one class in one weekend isn't enough of a headache, then there's alcohol to fill that void. Water. Just study, study, study. Water. That stranger used to be my buddy. Water, one day I'll want to make money. Water, going bald from the stress of only 20. Water, will somebody hire me, please? Water, I will never be as hired me, please. Water, me and my girlfriend are engaged. Water, and that's when the passion fades. Water, this job, this job in a cubicle pays the bills that suitable creativity and spirit are no longer usable. Water, a baby. Water, a baby. Water, in my race. Water. I haven't slept in five days. Water. <laughs> my job sucks. Water. The weekend is too short. Water. The multicolored coat that owns my office is the only thing making me happy. Water. Trust in the wrong banker. And now I'm in a pit of low credit mortgage debt. Water. <laughs> Where have all the old friends gone? Water. Where have all my old friends gone? Water. When's the last time I phoned my parents? Water. And why do I still have Facebook? Water. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason. Water. Why is winter the only goddamn season? Water. <laughs> the mother of my children is leaving. Water. No prenup, so I hope I break even. <laughs> Divorce. Water. Joint custody. Water. Sad kids. Water. Having to present yourself to strangers on an internet dating website using language that is practically lying, water. <laughs> Your teenage kids are as disrespectful and dishonest as you once were. Water. <laughs> Where did all the time go? Water. Just realized the government's been full of crap this entire time. Water. Yeah, I had a pretty good day, I guess. I uh, was walking down the sidewalk and found a dime. Water, distrust, water, despair, water, still riding the TTC, water, climate change, a nuclear war, or some other 
impending threat, and the world will end before we even get a chance to be miserable adults. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, I look over the edge of this diving board, and almost throw up my breakfast right into the water. Call me a dreamer. But when I take a look at all the graduates, and I think about our future, you know, you know what I see? I see world-class chefs. I see musicians. I see lawyers dedicated to human rights. I see fitness entrepreneurs. I see environmental scientists. I see world travelers. I see interestingly obscure store owners. I see artists who are not starving. I see detectives. I see comedians. I see doctors in England. Yeah. I see CEOs with humility. I see honest federal politicians. I see orthodontists who find a less awkward alternative to braces. I see innovators. I see leaders. I see success. I see loving relationships, I see lifelong friendships, I see lives that are worth living. I see the future, and I see us. You know why? Because when I turn around and look back down this diving board, I don't see a grade that's regular, a grade that blends into the norm, a grade that will surrender to the defeated nature of our society, no. I look back, and I see something else. I see locker murals on every floor, in every, in, on every floor in every hallway of this school, painted tirelessly. I see donkey dramas. I see fashion show. I see the cars in auto shop. That's student made. That's talent, and that's something else. I see the brand new Clark Hooper Field, the beginning of the Clark Hooper Field that we fought for, that we slept for in the cold November air. That's dedication, and that's something else. I see our students whether they're at a football game, tennis match, the Avogadro chemistry contest, debating tournament, or the Sears Festival, repping the Red Knight as hard as they can. We put the team on our back door. <laughs> and that's something else. I see a high school with virtually no bullying, no tension, a harmonious utopia with every race, religion, and culture present. Social scientists looking to find answers for peace to study us. Now that's something else. And more impressive than all of that, we're just kids. Through all of our endeavors, we've been having the time of our lives. In an age when happiness and self-esteem are on a great decline, we here can still enjoy ourselves. Ask any student from any other high school if they like where they go, and they'll say no, or be completely apathetic. We don't like Northern. We love Northern. Yeah. And what, I'm to, what I need you to acknowledge, what I need all of you to understand, is that we made it for you. My friends, we are Northern. <laughs> we had this magnificent high school experience because we made it that way. Now tell me that ain't something else. Now, after I've told you the greatness we've already achieved, the fun times we've already had, and the insane height that our dining board currently sits at, well, really, only one question remains.
so high. Like I said before, this is it. Let's take this dive with big smiles on our faces. And on that day, they ask us in awe, in amazement, where did you come from? <laughs> we'll say I'm from Northern, class of 2011. Come on, Mother Boy. <laughs>